What's up guys, and today I'm going to be making a crust mask. Uh, I got some uh, stuff, uh, some kind of fabric that keeps out the dust and um, diseases and viruses out. So I got some right here. And I got a, uh, a decent sized cloth right here. Not really a cloth, it's um, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be making a crust mask. Uh, first, what you wanna do is put this right here, or if you don't have this, you can always use other stuff, or you don't have that. You don't even have to have it. Just, but I'm gonna just put it in here, and then put it like this. Fold it in. And then what I'm gonna do is sew from here to here, and then sew from here to here, and then I'm gonna sew from here to here. So you got different section points, you know. So I got some. Uh, I guess I got the rest of this. Uh, white thread here go ahead and take my needle get my needle here and start to put the needle into I mean the thread into the needle and uh I figured I'd make a crust mask because it would fit my outfit and everything. It would look better on me and to have those corny masks that everybody makes or, you know, I would like to have something different than other people. So, get that thread really wet. All right, here we got. You just want to enclose the uh, the uh, fabric inside of it so that it stays closed inside the mask. All right, so got a little points here, and uh, after you sew it together you can always trim it if it's not if it's like over uh over um too big or too small or whatever so you can always go back and sew it uh cut, trim it cut it off different points it's already looking good Love the stitches and stuff on it. It's kind of looking like I'm sewing jeans together. So yeah, you just want to go all the way around. Well, actually, you can just go one way, and then you can go another way, and then you can go the other way. So doesn't matter which way you go, but as long as you. So it all around the uh, fry fabric inside, dry sheet, whatever you want to call it. And you can go crazy, you can over sew it if you want to just to make it look more thrashy or whatever you want to call it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done sewing this side how it looks all right so this is how it looks so far i don't know if you see okay that's how it looks so far you know you just want to go all the way down you know, and then go over here and sew it and kind of like a square 
going up. So we're down, up and down. That's how it's gonna look. Here. Up here, down here, from down here, from here to right here, from here to right here. What I wanna do is is poke some holes in it so that you know you can breathe. It's probably that's probably what you wanna do. Since it's black, you're not really gonna see the holes. So poking holes in them, a little bit of holes in them, so that you can breathe will be better. You know, <clears throat> a little bit of holes in them. But yeah, I forgot to show y'all the holes. I mean the uh, stitching. So right here. Looks a little crusty. So I poke some holes in them. Hopefully it uh mm. Either way, you know, I don't really need that many holes because it's not it's not it's it's not gonna be too much on me, so yeah. And then what you wanna do is, is poke some holes in the sides. I got one down here, one at the bottom, and then one on the top. Oops, I think that was too big. Huh. But anyways, uh and then on the other side you want one on the top. And one at the bottom. Okay. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger on the bottom. Okay, and then you want uh, two strings. It doesn't matter what kind of string you use. You use soft string, hard string, you know, any kind of string you want to use. I got black yarn, thick yarn, so it's soft on my ears. Uh, okay, then what you want to do is take one side of the string, it doesn't matter which one, and you want to put the yarn, the uh, string yarn through the hole, both of the holes. Through the, you want the string to go through both side, both um, flaps or sides. And then you want to go tight down to the bottom hole and put it through the bottom hole. And then what you want to do next is tie it together so that it go, it's, it's, it's a um, hole that goes onto your ear. So you want to go like this and then like this. I'm going to tighten it up. Yeah, you want to tighten it up a little bit, and then you want to tie it again, like this, and then you want to do it again, so that it's tight. You want to tighten it up real good, and then, here's my scissors, okay, and then you want to cut this to the bottom, you want to cut that off, and there's one side, there's one side of it. Okay, then you wanna do the same for the next side. So, go to the bottom holes, go through the hole, go through the other hole, where, where is that? I need to make another hole for this one, it didn't go through all the way. 
Okay. Okay. Now we got this hole. And that's going to go through the top hole, bottom, top, whatever. Both of those holes on the bottom. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side when you tie it up. Tie it up. You can have it as tight or loose as you want it. It doesn't really matter. All right. And then we got that. Tie it again. Tie it again. Now, we want to cut this off. And there you have it. You have a crust flap. This is a crust flap. So I already got this other stitches on in this stuff. You can design it. You can you can paint it. You can well, I wouldn't paint it, but you can stitch it up. You can stitch it up all through the mask if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You know. But yeah, this is a, a, a black flap, crust flap mask, and I'm gonna try it on to see how I can see what it looks like on. I think it's, it might be a little loose, but you can flip sides if you want to. If you wanted to, you could flip, switch sides. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. And you can trim it, because this one's a little bit, um, this one's a little big on me, so if you wanted to, you can always cut it and trim it the way you want to, but yeah. This is my video on how to make a, a crust mask. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. I'll be uploading every other day, almost every day, if you want to watch my videos. Thanks for watching.